एवरीवन दिस इज सानिया फ्रॉम एडुरेका एंड टुडे वी आर डाइविंग डीप इनटू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ एडब्ल्यूएस लैम्डा एमेजन सर्वरलेस कंप्यूटिंग प्लेटफार्म दे ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग द वे वी बिल्ड एंड डिप्लॉय एप्लीकेशंस बट बिफोर वी गो अहेड इफ यू हैव इट ऑलरेडी प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू आवर एडुरेका YouTube चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन द बेल आइकन टू नेवर मिस आउट एनी अपडेट्स फ्रॉम अस Also if you are looking for our AWS certification course from Edureka do check out the link given in the description below Now let's take a quick look at the agenda for this video If you are new to AWS or cloud computing in general don't worry we will break it down for you We will start with the introduction of AWS and its four most important services such as Amazon EC2 Amazon S3 Amazon RDS and Amazon Lambda Next we will talk about our today's topic in detail with real world example and understand its usage. Next we will discuss feature of AWS Lambda and where it is used. Moving ahead we have a small demonstration for you which gives you a comprehensive understanding of AWS Lambda. So let's get started. At very first we have what is AWS. So AWS or Amazon Web Services is a comprehensive cloud platform that offers a wide range of cloud computing services. It allows businesses and developers to run applications, store data and manage various aspects of their IT infrastructure in a flexible and cost-effective manner. AWS offers a vast array of services from computing and storage to machine learning and IoT. This services enable organization to leverage the power of the cloud to meet their specific needs. Let's understand the top 4 AWS services which are as follows. The very first is Amazon EC2 that is Elastic Compute Cloud which provides scalable virtual servers in the cloud. It also allows organizations to run application on a variety of operating systems offering flexibility and control over compute resources which makes it a fundamental building block for hosting applications websites and many more second is amazon s3 that is simple storage service which is a highly scalable and secure object storage service it's designed for storing and retrieving data like documents images and videos S3 is widely used for the data backup, data lakes and as a source for static website hosting due to its durability and low latency access. Third one is Amazon RDS that is relational database service. Amazon RDS simplifies the management of relational database like MySQL, PostgreSQL and Oracle. It automates routine database tasks such as provisioning batching and backups making it a crucial service for organizations which rely on structured data storage now the fourth one is amazon lambda amazon lambda is a serverless computing service that allows organizations to execute code in response to events without managing servers it's ideal for event driven applications automations and microservices AWS Lambda offers cost-effective scaling and it's commonly used in modern cloud architectures. So, moving ahead, our today focus is on AWS Lambda, which is a specific service offered by AWS. But what exactly is AWS Lambda? So, AWS Lambda is a serverless computing service. This means you can run code without provisioning or managing servers. It's an event-driven service where you can upload your code and AWS Lambda automatically takes care of the infrastructure, scaling and other operational aspects. Let's explore AWS Lambda with a real-world example that you might find not only engaging but also relatable. So, imagine you're a passionate baker. Your friends and family love your delicious cakes and you have started selling them online through your e-commerce website. But here's a challenge. You want to personalize the experience for your customer by offering them a special cake recipe suggestion based on their favorite flavors. You, being the baking guru that you are, know that the coding a recommendation system can be complex and resource intensive. You need something that can efficiently handle the job without breaking the bank. This is where AWS Lambda steps in. 
AW Lambda is like having a magical kitchen assistant always ready to bake your cakes with a perfect recipe for your customers. Let me explain how it works using our baker's story as an example. First, you configure your website to send data about your customers' favorite cake flavors to an S3 bucket whenever they log in. This event is like a customer placing an order or interacting with your website. Then AWS Lambda is set up to listen to this S3 bucket. Just like your kitchen assistant who waits for your baking orders, AWS Lambda waits for this event to occur. As soon as a new data entry arrives in the S3 bucket, AWS Lambda springs into action. It takes the customer's flavor preferences, analyzes them and selects the perfect cake recipe for that customer. In our baker's cake, Lambda might choose a recipe for a strawberry delight cake for a customer who loves strawberries. It's like the perfect recipe card handed to you just in time. AWS Lambda runs the code needed to generate this personalized recipe suggestions without you having to worry about maintaining the kitchen or writing complex code. This serverless approach is not only cost effective but also allows you to focus on what you do best. baking the best cakes and that is the essence of AWS Lambda it's your serverless kitchen assistant always ready to wipe up the perfect solution leaving you with more time to create your delicious cakes and less time worrying about the technical intricacies moving ahead we have a features of AWS Lambda the very first feature is serverless computing which means you don't have to worry about managing servers AWS takes care of the infrastructure which allows you to focus on writing the code on. The second one is event driven. AWS Lambda is event driven meaning it responds to events triggered by various AWS services or custom events. It can automatically scale in response to the incoming workload. Third one is language flexibility or wide language support. Lambda supports a wide range of programming languages including Python, Node.js, Java, C and many more, making it accessible to developers with different language preferences. The fourth one is pay per use pricing. With AWS Lambda, you only pay for the compute time your code actually consumes, making it a very cost-effective solution. Now, the fifth one is auto scaling. AWS Lambda automatically scales your application in response to incoming traffic which ensures high quality and availability. The sixth one is easy integration which means it can easily integrate with other AWS services and external APIs. So, where can you use this AWS Lambda? The very first is in real time data processing. You can use AWS Lambda to process and analyze data in real time. For instance, you can trigger Lambda function to process logs, clickstream data or any other sensor data as well. The second one is serverless web application. You can build serverless web application where Lambda function handle tasks like authentication, data processing and many more. The third one is automation. AWS Lambda is ideal for automating various tasks such as creating and managing resources, backup procedures or sending notifications. Okay, so now the last one is IoT. It's commonly used in IoT application to process data from connected devices. Now, moving ahead, we have a practical demonstration where we show how to write a Python program that displays hello at Eureka using an AWS Lambda function. So let's get started. I am assuming that you guys already know how to set up AWS account or sign in. But if you don't, no issue. I'll provide a link of how to sign in AWS account video. You just have to check it and then proceed with this one. Here you have to search for AWS Lambda At left hand navigation panel, select the functions and then click on the create function. Okay. Select the author from scratch and now fill the function name and choose the language Python. So here you write your function name and then choose your preferred language. Like say we use Python. And then you click on the create function. 
wait it's creating as you can see the lambda function hello at eureka is successfully created now we will invoke the function within an event now we will write a code in python so it will print hello at eureka you have to just copy this code in your uh, file and then you can run it also okay wait for a while i'll complete this code so now it's completely done and then you have to select the deploy first to save the changes and then click on the test you have to mention your event name and then select on invoke it's executing as you can see in the execution result the output in response and status code is 200 and it's also printing hello edureka also okay so this is the way you can create your function or your code in the aws management console or in the aws lambda okay thank you for joining us in this exploration of aws lambda if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe for more tech tutorials and aws insights if you have any questions or topics you would like us to cover in the future videos feel free to leave them in the comment section below i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning.